I'm Bradford Ambrose for The Breeze, and I'm on the road at Robin Stadium where the number two Dukes took on the Richmond Spiders. Let's see if the Dukes could add another win to their 3-0 CAA record. Let's pick it up in the first half. Justin Thorpe makes his 21-yard pass to DeAndre Smith, putting the Dukes up 7-0. Richmond's quarterback Michael Strauss would make this four-yard touchdown pass to Kevin Finley, putting the Spiders on the board. Richmond would miss the extra point, making it 7-6 JMU. To the end of the first half we go, Michael Strauss makes this six-yard pass to Stephen Barnett, putting the Spiders on top, 10-15. Michael Birdsong would have one more shot at the end of the game to score a touchdown but it would not be caught and the Spiders would win 29-35. Some opportunities were missed by both me and it just, just wasn't going this way tonight. And uh, that's unfortunate. But I mean, I knew it would bounce back. We didn't stand back yet. It's only one back in here. My issue with the officials was we, you know, we were going in high because we're trying to go in until our kids were going in the middle. Your quarterback high, but I guess you're gonna have to go over every time we hit the guy. And I guess that's the rule. You know, we weren't really hitting him late, we were hitting him in the head, and I, I couldn't I asked the guy, I said, you know, you're you're making us go with the kids' legs, the way the officials call it a game. And it was very frustrating for our kid. I thought defensively we were totally atrocious. We didn't, you know, we didn't rush the pass. We never really played a little bit against the old man. We we just never you know, as a kid played the worst defensive games in their career. But I really thought Richmond played well. You know, they, it was obvious that they, they were much more in the game than our kids were. You know, we just were kind of hanging out. You know, they just wanted to do something. I told the team last night, protect your quarterback. If you protect your quarterback, he'll play real well. And, you know, they, he took some shots back there, but he was not running for his life all game and that's that happens sometimes when you play against JMU they just overwhelm you with their pass rush. Well, they're both incredible athletes you can just tell from watching them play. Uh, Thorpe's a little more of a runner kind of a true kind of zone read kind of uh, I guess option style quarterback. Birdsong watching him on tape he's a little more of a thrower kind of, kind of more of a drop back kind of accurate guy and when they got down we, we prepared for in the week that they might go to him just because of uh, his different kind of skill set but they're both incredible athletes and uh, he came in and did an incredible job it's just and two great athletes, it's hard to prepare for both. It's a very monumental win. I mean, um, we, we went through the lowest of lows last year going 0-8 uh, in the conference and uh, have the number two team come in and, uh, and we beat them. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, it's a blessing as well. Jane, you will face Georgia State next weekend for homecoming. Kickoff is set for 3.30. From Richmond, Virginia, I'm Bradford Ambrose.